Can I let you in on a secret? After all these years in the lab, I still get anxious when I'm doing important experiments. But after all these years in the lab, I've come up with a lot of strategies that help me cope. And so one of them is to plan out things in ahead, way ahead. And so I use spreadsheets to keep track of everything. I plan out my experiments ahead of time, at least a day ahead of time. That way I can sleep on it. I look at it fresh in the morning. I print it out and I bring it with me. And not only does it tell me step by step what to do so I don't have to worry about what, how much I'm pipetting where and trying frantically to look around, but I also make checklists that I can actually check off as I go, complete with places where I can put notes about the different runs. So yeah, I was doing, doing hundreds of experiments, um, doing lots and lots and lots of assay runs. So this is the graveyard for my first set and I've got more this afternoon. And so I have a lot of different runs and so I wanna make sure I check off when I do the different things. I also check, put like check marks on my tubes and stuff when there's a reagent that I need to add. So if I need to like add a chemical and so I needed to add a chemical to this tube. And so I put a check mark to show that I added the chemical to the liquid that was in the tube because I was basically diluting them. Not only do I number code, I guess why I've number coded them. I have also check marked them and I color code my stuff. All of that helps me stay calm. I also make a system like where I have like which hand is gonna do what pipette at what time, where are the pipette tips in the optimal position. If I wear the used cuvettes, where are the non-used cuvettes so I don't mix them up. So things like this, there's just, you need to come up with strategies to help you work around things in the lab. Make sure you stay on track. The most, most important thing is to prepare ahead of time. And so I have like, I put an example spreadsheet of one of my experiments, basically I go step by step. I say like, if I'm doing a serial dilution, pipette this many microliters into this tube, this tube, this tube, and this tube, then pipette this many microliters. I set out a play by play. I set out a list of things I'm gonna need, all this stuff helps it make it so that when I come into lab, even though experiment's really important, I've set myself up as best as I can to succeed. One note about the checklist though, just make sure you get in the habit of actually checking things off or else you might have done it and then forgotten to check it and then you're like, did I do it or not? It's not checked off, but I felt like I did it. And so just get in the habit, try to start those habits early on and it will set you up for a lifetime lab time of success, hopefully. Um, and so best of luck with your experiments if you're doing a bigger experiment today too. What you doing, Nicholas? Checking off the last uh, set of enzyme assays. Booyah, woo! Awesome. Yay. Lots and lots of assays.